I'm about to design uh, my own spread for one of the pages of this album. Um, and I already opened the pictures I want on this page, or the bride wanted on this page. And I chose uh, this picture for the background. Okay, so here's my 12 by 12 uh, spread. And I'm going to click on this tool and bring this picture. Whoops! Bring this picture onto my background, which is right there. And then I can close that. And uh, I'm hitting Command T on my Mac. Or you could go, uh, I think, Edit, Transform, Free Transform. Yeah, Free Transform. And I'm holding the Shift key down and clicking and dragging that. So this is what I'm going to use for a background picture. And if I wanted to, I do want to turn down the opacity of this layer. Um, so to do that, sorry, this is really... Um, I click on that layer and turn the opacity down. Um, but because it's a reception, instead of having it fade light, I'm going to click on the background. And I'm actually going to make the background black. Make sure the black is here. Go on my paint can, make sure I'm, I have the background layer selected, and click. Then I go back up to this layer and make it uh, more or less faded. The reason I like to do the backgrounds of the receptions dark is because usually the pictures are dark, so to use a darker background makes the pictures look brighter. Um, or like if I do sunset pictures, I'd want I'd do the background black as opposed to white because the, pic the colors just look so much more vibrant with a dark background. Okay, so there's my background, and then I have all these pictures, and the bride just said she wanted them in a grid, um, but some are vertical, some are horizontal, so I'm just going to use this tool and drag them all on, and then uh, arrange them. I'm just, I'm just throwing them on there for now. So I can close the other files. And I'll probably crop some of these once I have them on the page. I'm putting them anywhere for now. This I think this is so much easier than like using pre-designed pages with uh, placeholders. This picture she wanted cropped so it's um, horizontal. Six. Okay, so there's just one, two, three, four, five, seven. There should be one more hiding. There it is. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is crop the one she wanted cropped. Um which is this one. So I use this tool and I had to make sure I have that layer selected. Which is that one. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna, she said cropped right at her waist. That's a little high. I'm gonna crop it there instead. Then I do um, Make sure I have zero feather, select inverse, edit, cut. So inverse, let me cut out what I didn't select. Okay, so now I just have to design a layout here. 
Uh, let me see. I made that one square. I can also make this one square. Select first. I usually don't crop any of the pictures. Um, let's see. And now I'll just lay them out. And I'm, I'm just going to compare this to this so I make it like equal size. This one I could crop too, um, but I, I like that it's like this so you can see that it's a guest book so I'm actually not going to crop it. I could do uh, view show grid and this way I can make sure that these are lined up I'm holding the shift key down. It's hard for me to see with the grid on, so for now I'm just going to take it off and then I will, uh, when I have the layout, I'll put the grid on to make sure they're, e they're equal here. Um, this picture, I'll put the grid on to make sure they're lined up good. Okay, and then these ones over there. Lining it up at the top. I'm going to pull this down and I guess I'll make that go in the middle. And this one I think I'll make square so it fits in the space better. Let's see. make sure that I have that layer selected and I'm hitting command X just to get rid of that. I want some of the cake showing so we know it's the cake topper. Okay. Looking for that layer, okay. I'll just put that in the middle. Um, okay. And I'm just I'm bringing that up to see if it's equal. Okay, so now I'm going to do the uh, view show grid so I can line these up better. View show grid. Oh, it's hard to see because it's so dark. These are lined up. Okay, this is not lined up. Um, 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 what I'm going to do is select this book one and I'm just going to take the top off so it lines up with that picture. The sides are good, the bottom's good, okay. So now I'm going to get rid of this grid. And then I can uh, make um, borders for these by clicking the layer I want, FX, stroke, uh, make sure this is on inside, that way I'll get crisp, sharp edges. I have black selected, and um, I'm moving the size up and down so I can see what picture it's on. And I think I'll go about there in width. Opacity, 
I'll turn down the opacity on these ones. No, I lied. I'm going to make a solid black border. Okay, and then all I have to do um, is uh, right click, copy layer style, and then click all my other layers except that background. Right click, paste layer style. Now they all have those backgrounds. Um, now the other thing I want to do is uh, merge these four so I can make them take up the whole page. So it's this picture, hold command down, that picture, that picture, and that one. Right click, merge layers. Okay, so now these four are connected. So I'm going to hit command T or edit, transform, free transform. i uh, hold the shift key down and then I'm just making this, I'm keeping it square, but I'm just making it uh, take up more of the page. And then I'm going to do the same with these other three. Merge layers. Making it bigger and making them more centered on the page. Maybe I'll make this come down so it's equal even with that one. And the top is even with that one. And do you see how over here like it wants to jump and there's no in between. If you hit um, Command Plus to zoom in further, if you're zoomed in further, it gives you more options as to where you can put that. Okay, and that looks that looks good. So I'm going to leave the page like that. Okay, then I have to um, file, save it, uh, and then I'm also going to flatten it and save it as a JPEG so the bride can see it. But I saved it um, as a PSD file so I have the layers so I can go back in and change it if she wants. That's all I can stop recording now. Um, Stop recording until this is done saving and it's at 42%. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to stop saving it. Or stop recording. Thanks.